How to grow vegetables indoors. Carrots are ridiculously accommodating. Growing them in containers is not just a great option for indoor growing, it also solves the problem of trying to grow them in heavy, rocky soil. Smaller carrots are easiest to grow inside. They need less space and mature quickly. A long container, such as a window box, is ideal. Lightly cover the seeds with some damp peat moss, so the seeds don't dry out. Do not let a hard crust form over them, this prevents germination. Keep the soil moist, and seeds should germinate within two weeks. Days to maturity will depend on the variety you are growing. If you have ever left a garlic bulb alone for a few weeks or you have put garlic it in the fridge, you might notice a garlic clove sprouting a little green foot from one of its ends. Instead of tossing it out, you can plant that sprouting garlic clove about one inch deep in a four inch container and water it. Within weeks, you will have garlic greens. Pepper plants are tropical perennials. They shrivel at just the hint of frost, but while indoors, they can thrive. Plant some sweet or hot peppers from seed or pot some plants from your garden in late summer and bring them inside. You might not get a huge harvest, but they will fruit. Lettuce is quick growing and shallow rooted, so it will not need a deep container. It will also continue to regrow if you go the cut and come again root. Choose a container that is 2 to 4 inches deep and fill it with dampened soil. Sow your seeds by gently pressing them into the surface of the soil. Mist to keep the seeds moist and you should see germination within about one week. Allow the plants to grow at least 4 to 6 inches before you start harvesting. Cut or pull the outer leaves and allow the center of the plant to continue growing. Microgreens are tiny, fresh sprouts that are probably the most effortless edibles to grow indoors. They don't take up much space or much time. They are a mix of seeds from various greens and herbs, such as beets, radishes, kale, Swiss chard, and basil. You can't grow bulb onions indoors, but scallions like garlic greens, do just fine. They may rival microgreens with their ease. You don't even need seeds. Some gardeners have had success also replanting the root end of scallions after using the tops. You can root the whole scallion in a glass of water and plop the bunch of them in one glass with only about one inch of water in the bottom. When the roots have reached a couple of inches in length, move them to a shallow container of potting mix and let them continue growing. You can harvest just the green tops, leaving about one inch of the stem to regrow or pluck entire scallions out of the container to use the white portion. Tomato plants are tropical perennials, they die off at the end of the season, usually returning the next year. If you have a large tomato plant, leave it there. But, if you want tomatoes year-round indoors, start a new plant from seed at the end of summer. Tomato seeds germinate fairly quickly. Thanks for watching. Subscribe for more interesting videos. And please hit the like button for the YouTube algorithm.